Hello? Who is it? Who's there? What is it? Do you believe in ghosts? Don't you? I do now. You need a tremendously strong character to play Mrs. Oldham because, in a sense, she's the tent pole uh, that binds all the periods together in the house and everything else. And uh, Maggie has this extraordinary quality of being very moving when she wants to be. I mean, there's a couple of scenes in this that really make you cry. But she's never sentimental. You do know I love you more than anyone else in the world. Except for Daddy. Except for David. I'm glad. Good. Because I wouldn't want there to be any confusion on that score. Good night. It's, she's emotional, but not sentimental. And um, I find that both very powerful and also very useful in a film involving children, because they can dissolve into a kind of saccharine, lacrimose goo if you're not careful. And the children are cute and everyone else is half in tears all the time. And, and I don't find that interesting. So um, I was absolutely delighted that she wanted to do it and absolutely delighted with what she's done. I saw the latter. Well, sometimes when you're angry, you can overstate your case. He shouldn't have shown that to you. He didn't. I found it. And he shouldn't have kept it. He kept all your letters. The thing I've really altered is that in the book, the grandmother, grandson, or great-grandmother, as she is in, in the book, um, is in a way rather bland. I mean, I, I'm not criticizing it, but it's rather bland. They get on very well, everything is fine, and she tells him this story. That doesn't really work in a film, those sort of bookends. They've got to have their own life. So now there is a dynamic between the grandmother and the grandson. She doesn't like his mother. She doesn't really know him. That's also useful for a filmmaker because it means he comes to the house not really knowing it. And of course, we don't know it. We, the audience, don't know it. So we all learn about it with him, uh, which is a better dynamic for a film anyway. But also the, this um, slight dissonance creates a kind of electricity between them, between um, Maggie and Alex, or, you know, Tolly and Mrs. Oldno, which works very well in the film. Tolly. Yes? If you have children, don't ever quarrel with them. No matter the reason, no matter how angry you get, don't quarrel. I promise you, it's never worth it. <laughs>